If the minors are multiplied by the proper sign, then we are going to get the four factors. Deleting is obtained by deleting its ith row and jth column in which the element a i j lies. Transpose of the cofactor matrix denoted as z dash a d j is equal to c dash. The matrix and the adjoint of that matrix is always equal to determinant of a into i. Hello dear students, welcome to this session of mathematics class. I am Mr. Niranjan, the faculty of mathematics with the Ashram PU College, the temple of excellence. Now, in this session, I am going to discuss regarding the minors and cofactor, minor of an element and how to find the cofactors of an element and a cofactor matrix. So, by knowing the cofactor matrix, we are going to discuss regarding the adjoint of a square matrix. For an adjoint of a square matrix, finding the minors and cofactors are very important. Once if you know the adjoint of a square matrix, then we are going to solve the problems based on invertible matrices that we will discuss later. Now in this session, I am going to discuss regarding the minors, cofactors and uh, adjoint of a square matrix. Now, let us know regarding what is meant by the minor and cofactors. Let us discuss regarding the minors and cofactors. The minor of an element A i j of a determinant is obtained by deleting its i row and j column, deleting, deleting the row and column containing that particular element. Deleting is obtained by deleting its i row and j column in which the element A i j lies. If the minus, if those minus are multiplied by the proper sign, we are going to get the cofactor of a matrix. Now, let us consider a matrix. Let us consider a square matrix A is equal to A11, A12, A21 and A22. So, the determinant of this is determinant, determinant A11, A12, A21 and A22. Okay. Now, let us discuss regarding the minors, the minor, minor of element A11, minor of an element A11 is nothing but deleting the row and column containing that element, that is all, delete it. So, this element and this element is gone, what is left over is A22. So, minor of A11 is A22, similarly, minor of A12. A12, just delete the row and column containing A12, so that is this row and column is deleted, what is remaining is A21. Similarly, come to this element, minor, minor of, minor of an element A21 is equal to, delete the row and column containing this, this row and column is gone, what is left over is A12. Next, the last element minor of A22, delete the row and column containing A22, you will get A11. So, these are called the minors. So, listen, the minor of an element is obtained by deleting the row and column containing that particular element, that is all. So, the minor of A11 is A22, minor of A12 is A21, minor of A21 is A12 and the minor of A22 is A11. So, these are called the minors. Now, if these minors are multiplied by a proper sign, if these minors are multiplied by a proper sign, that is the signs here are very, very important, plus, minus, minus, plus, positive, negative, negative, positive. If these elements are multiplied by a proper sign, then you are going to get the cofactors, the cofactor of a, that particular element the cofactor of an element. So, if I multiply this with plus, minus, minus and plus, this minus will reduce, becomes the cofactor. So, the cofactor of all the elements and the matrix you are going to obtain is called the cofactor matrix that is regarding cofactor. Now, let us uh, discuss in details once again. So, the minor of an element A i j of a determinant is obtained by deleting its i row and j column in which the element A i j lies. So, if the minors are multiplied by a proper sign, then we are going to get a cofactor. 
So let us come to this yes, here. So let us consider if A is equal to A11, A12, A221 and A22 is a matrix, the determinant associated with the square matrix A11, A12, A21, A22, the minor, write down the minus, the minor of A11 is A22, minor of A12 is A21, again minor of A12 is A12 and the minor of A22 is this. So just delete the row and column containing that particular element. So if these minus are multiplied by a proper sign, plus, minus, minus, plus, we are going to get the cofactor. So therefore, instead of writing minor, I can write cofactor, cofactor of A11. So A11 is A22. What is the sign? It is positive. Next, cofactor, cofactor of next element A12 is A21. What is the sign? It is minus. Similarly, cofactor of cofactor of A21 is equal to what are the what is the answer? A12. And what is the sign? It is minus. And cofactor, cofactor of A22, cofactor of A22 is A11. What is the sign? It is plus. Plus, minus. Again, minus plus you are going to get. So, therefore, this can also be represented as the cofactors is also denoted as you can represent it as A capital A11, A12, A21, and A22. Okay. So, the cofactor of this is A11, A12, A21, A22. So, therefore, we can write the cofactor matrix. Cofactor matrix C is equal to that is A11, A12, A21, A22. So, what is the answer you are going to get here? So, for this we are getting the elements like A22 minus A21 and minus A12 and A11. This is called the cofactor matrix denoted as C. So, the cofactor matrix is given by C is equal to a22 minus A21 minus A12 and A11 is the cofactor matrix. That's it. Hope you understood. Very simple. If the minors are multiplied by the proper sign, then we are going to get the cofactors. So the matrix we are going to obtain, the matrix which you are going to obtain is called the cofactor matrix. So that is regarding the minors and cofactors are concerned. This is in case of two rows and two columns. Similarly, for three rows and three columns, you should have to find the minors cofactors for each and every elements for three rows three columns there are nine elements for each and every element you should have to find the cofactors then put it in the forum first row second row and third row you will get the cofactor matrix now let us take an example so let us come to an example yes if a is equal to 1 2 3 4 let me write the minus first i will write the minor so the determinant associated with this determinant 1, 2, 3, 4. I will write the minors. Minor of first element 1. Just delete the row and column containing 1. So this 2, 3 is gone. What is left over is 4. Similarly, minor of second element 2. So what is the minor? Delete the row and column containing 2. You will get 3. Similarly, minor of this element 3. So this is gone. What is left over is 2. And the minor of last element, minor of 4 is equal to, delete the row and column, column containing 4, you will get a so. Here 4, 3, 2, 1 are the minors. So if these minors are multiplied by a proper sign, what are the signs? The signs are plus, minus, minus, plus. If the signs are multiplied by a proper sign, then we are going to get the cofactors. Now, listen, I will write the cofactors. So, the determinant of A is determinant 1, 2, 3, 4. Write down the cofactor. Cofactor of first element 1. Delete the row and column containing 1. What is left over is plus, it is positive. Similarly, cofactor of second element 2. Delete the row and column containing this. This is 3 and the sign is minus. Next, cofactor. Cofactor of 3. So, what is the sign? It is negative. 
delete this row and column containing 3, what is left over is 2 and similarly the cofactor of 4 is equal to this row and column is gone, you will get it is 1. So therefore, so the cofactor matrix I will write here cofactor matrix, cofactor matrix C is equal to what is the matrix you are going to get? 4, then minus 3, then minus 2 and 1. This is called the cofactor. So, the cofactor of this is given by 4 minus 3 minus 2 and 1. The cofactor matrix is first row 4 and minus 3, second row minus 2 and 1. This is the cofactor matrix. So, listen to me, this is very important concept. Once again, I will explain what is the difference between cofactors and minus. So, minor of element is nothing but the element which contain element obtained by deleting the row and column containing that particular element. So, the minor of 1 is 4, minor of 2 is 3, minor of 3 is 2 and minor of 4 is 1. If these minors, if these minors are multiplied by a proper signs like plus, minus, minus 1 plus, you are going to get the cofactor. So, therefore, cofactor of 1 is delete this row and column containing 1, it is 4. The sign is positive. Cofactor of 2, delete the row and column containing 2, this row and column is gone, what is left over is 3, the sign is minus. Similarly, the cofactor of 3 is, delete the row and column containing 3, what is left over is 2 and it is minus. And the cofactor of 4 is equal to, delete this row and column containing 4, see this is gone and what is left over is only 1. So, therefore, the cofactor matrix is C is equal to 4 minus 3 minus 2 and 1 is the cofactor matrix. Okay. Now, let us take one more problem. So, uh, we will go to the adjoint, 3 rows and 3 columns. We are going, I will explain how to find the cofactors for 3 rows and 3 columns. Now, let us know regarding the adjoint. Now, what is the adjoint? The adjoint of a square matrix, this is very important concept. The adjoint of a square matrix A i j is defined as the transpose of the cofactor matrix. If you transpose the cofactor matrix, then you are going to get the adjoint and it is denoted as A d j. A d j adjoint of A is nothing but the transpose of the cofactor matrix. The transpose of the cofactor matrix is called the adjoint denoted as A d j. See here. For example, let us consider, suppose if determinant of, consider this determinant A11, A12, A21 and A22. The cofactor matrix, cofactor matrix for this is equal to, suppose if A11, A12, A21 and A22, this is the cofactor matrix, then the adjoint of this is given by, if you transpose this C dash is equal to adjoint of A and this is written as write like this A11, A12, A21 and A22. This is the adjoint denoted as ADJ. What is here ADJ? The adjoint of A is nothing but the transpose of the cofactor matrix. What are these elements? These elements are nothing but the cofactors for this original matrix, given matrix. So, the cofactor for this matrix is C, A11, A12, A21, A22. Then, the transpose of this is A12, A11, A12, A21, A22 is denoted as C dash, that is nothing but an adjoint. So, this is denoted as adjoint of A, adjoint of A, ADJ. ADJ is nothing but the adjoint of A. Let us take an example. For example, find, yes, find the adjoint of A, where A is equal to 2, 3, 1, 4. This is the matrix given. Matrix A is equal to 2, 3, 1, 4. Find the adjoint of A. Now, let us write down the first determinant of A. Determinant of A is determinant 2, 3, 1, 4. The signs are plus, minus, minus, plus. Okay. Now, write down the cofactors. Cofactor of first element 2. Delete the row and column containing 2. This row column is deleted. What is left over is 4. Next, come to the second element. Cofactor, cofactor of 3. What is the sign? It is negative minus. Delete this row and column containing 3. What is left over is 1. Next, cofactor of next element, cofactor of first element of row, row 2. So, delete this row and column containing what is left over is 3 and what is the sign? It is minus. Similarly, for last element, 
cofactor of 4 is equal to delete this row and column containing this you will get so therefore the cofactor matrix cofactor matrix c is equal to what are the elements 4 minus 1 minus 3 and 2 so therefore the transpose of this c dash is equal to adjoint of a so what is the transpose just interchange this 4 minus 1 minus 3 and 2 this is the adjoint of a the adjoint of a is equal to 4 minus 3 minus 1 to interchanging the rows to column first row become first column 4 minus 1 and second row become second column minus 3 and 2 otherwise straight away you can uh, put it like this so if you want you can write the adjoint like this so instead of writing the cofactor matrix therefore the adjoint of a is equal to so instead of writing first row and second row straight away write out it as a first column 4 and minus 1 this is second column minus 3 and 2 so instead of writing first row second row for cofactor matrix if you put it in the form of a column first column and second column straight away you will get the adjoint this is how we are going to find the adjoint suppose if it is for two mass for two mass this is the method to solve to find the adjoint for one more there is one more easiest method that i will explain so for the time being so for two mass finding the adjoint is just by finding the cofactors and uh, taking the transpose of that cofactor matrix will give the adjoint okay now so the adjoint of a square matrix is defined as the transpose of the cofactor matrix denoted as z a d j is equal to c dash now let us take uh, one more problem now find the adjoint of find the adjoint of a is equal to 4 minus 1 3 minus 2 now let us take determinant of a is determinant 4 minus 1 3 and minus 2 the signs are plus minus minus and plus now write down the cofactors cofactor matrix cofactor of 4 is equal to delete the row and column containing this what is left over is minus 2 similarly cofactor cofactor of minus 1 so this sign is minus delete this row and column containing 1 what is left over is 3 minus 3 so next cofactor cofactor of 3 is equal to the sign is negative row and column is gone what is left over is minus 1 so this minus and minus becomes plus 1 and the last element cofactor of minus 2 is equal to this row and column is gone this is equal to 4 so therefore the cofactor matrix c is equal to you can write it as minus 2 minus 3 plus 1 and plus 4 therefore the adjoint of a is equal to c dash so adjoint of a is equal to the transpose of this is minus 2 minus 3 1 and 4 or straight away you can write here itself you can write the adjoint of a is equal to instead of writing first row write it as the first column minus 2 minus 3 and 1 4 you will get the adjoint one and the same transpose the cofactor matrix or put it in the form of a column you will get the adjoint so this two are same so minus 2 1 minus 3 and 4 this is how we are going to find the adjoint of a two rows and two column this is for two marks is concerned now for one mark if it is for one mark what is the procedure let us see there is a property let us discuss regarding the property then and explain how to find the adjoint for one row one column so that is if a be any square matrix of order n then a into adjoint of a is equal to adjoint of a into a is equal to determinant of a into i if you multiply any matrix with an adjoint a matrix and the adjoint of that matrix is always equal to determinant of a into i or adjoint of a matrix adjoint of matrix and that particular matrix if you multiply then also you are going to get a determinant of a into i so this is very important property that is a into adjoint of a is equal to adjoint of a into a is always equal to determinant of a into i where i is an identity matrix of same order so now let us consider for example if if a is equal to 3 minus 1 2 and uh, 
4. Now, suppose if I want to do this part, let me take the first part to find A into adjoint of A. Suppose if you want to find A into adjoint of A. Now, first write down the adjoint since this is a lengthiest question. So, to find the adjoint of this adjoint of A, just straight away you can write the adjoint. Interchange the diagonals, interchanging the diagonals 3, 4 can be written as 4 and 3 and changing the signs for secondary diagonal minus this 2 and minus 1 becomes plus 1 and minus 2. So, here see interchange the diagonal 3, 4 can be written as 4 and 3 and changing the signs for the secondary diagonal plus 2 becomes minus 2 and plus 1 becomes minus 1 will give the adjoint straight away instead of writing cofactors and all those things you can straight away put it in the form of a adjoint. So, now let us take now A into what is to find adjoint of A. Now, what is A? A is 3 minus 1, 2 and 4 into adjoint of A is 4, 1 minus 2 and 3. So, first row, first column, second column matrix multiplication again 3, 4 is a 2, 1 minus into minus plus 1, 2 is a 2. Same row, second row, first column 3, 1 is a 3 minus into plus minus 3 ones are 3. Again second row first column second column 2 fours are 8 plus into minus 4 twos are 8. Again 2 ones are 2 plus into my plus 4 threes are 12. So this is equal to 12 plus 2 is 14 0 again 8 minus 8 is 0 and 12 plus 2 is 14. So you can remove this 14 common factor, what you will get 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, this is equal to 14 times. Let us find out the determinant of this. So, determinant of A is equal to determinant 3 minus 1, 2, 4. Let us find out the determinant of this. 3, 4 is 12 minus into minus plus 12 plus 2 that is equal to 14. So, what is this equal to 14 into 14? the 14 into this determinant 1001 is nothing but i. What is 14? 14 is nothing but the determinant of a. So, this is determinant of a into i. So, you can say that this is equal to determinant of a into i. Okay. So, if you multiply the matrix and the adjoint a into adjoint of a is always equal to determinant of a into i you are going to get. Okay. That is regarding the property. Now, let me explain how to find the adjoint in the easiest shortcut method, interchanging the diagonals and writing the changing the signs for the secondary diagonals. Let us come to that. Now, so that I will explain again. For a square matrix of order n, adjoint of a is always equal to a to the power of n minus 1, a to the power of n minus 1. So, if it is 2 rows 2 column, then it is a. If it is 3 rows 3 column adjoint of determinant of adjoint of A is equal to A square for 2 rows 2 column the adjoint of determinant. So, the adjoint of a determinant that is determinant of an adjoint matrix and the determinant are same for 3 rows and 3 column the adjoint of A is always equal to determinant A square this is very important. 3 rows 3 column 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 rows 2 column 2 minus 1 is 1. So, determinant of an adjoint is equal to determinant of A itself for 2 rows 2 column. Determinant of the adjoint of A is equal to determinant of A whole square for 3 rows 3 column. For 3 rows 3 column it is A square, for 2 rows 2 column it is A. I will, exp I will take the problem and explain it. Now, let us come to the shortcut method to find the adjoint. Suppose, if A is equal to A11, A12, A21, A22, the determinant of this is determinant. I will write the determinant of A is equal to determinant A11, A12, A21 and A22. Now, the adjoint, adjoint of this can be written as the very easiest shortcut method is interchanging the diagonals, interchanging the principal diagonal. A11, A22 can be written as A22, A11 and changing the signs of secondary diagonal elements. So, A minus 2 1 and minus of A 1 2. So, that is interchange the principal diagonal elements and changing the signs for the secondary diagonal. Interchange these two elements. A 1 1, A 2 2 can be written as A 2 2, A 1 1. 
and changing the signs for this this becomes minus a12 and this becomes minus a1 a21 so take let me take an example if a is equal to c here 2 4 3 5 then how to write the adjoint straight away you can write the adjoint of a is equal to 2 5 can be written as pi 2 and the signs for this is minus 4 and minus 3 simple way one more question for example let me take b is equal to minus 4 3 minus 1 and minus then the adjoint of this b is equal to adjoint of b is equal to so here interchange the diagonals minus 4 minus 3 can be written as minus 3 minus 4 the signs will remain the same whereas the signs for this plus 3 becomes minus 3 and minus 1 becomes plus 1 see the difference interchanging the diagonals and changing the signs for the secondary diagonal so minus 4 minus 3 can be as minus 3 minus 4 the signs will remain the same whereas this signs will change as minus 3 and plus 4 so that is interchanging the principal diagonal elements and uh, changing the signs for the secondary diagonal elements will gives the adjoint of a square matrix for two rows and two columns now come to the third order determinant now let us come to three rows three columns now let me take find the adjoint of a where a is equal to, if a is equal to minus 2 2 1 4 1 2 3 2 minus 1 find the adjoint of this now write down the determinant of this determinant of a is equal to determinant minus 2 2 1 4 1 2 3 2, 2 minus 1 keep it in mind the signs are plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus and plus the diagonals are positive principal diagonal diagonals are all positive and remaining elements are negative now let us try down the cofactors for each and every element cofactor of all the elements in first row cofactors for all the elements in second row cofactors for all the elements in the third row just by deleting the row and column containing that particular element and multiplied by the proper sign you will get the cofactor let me first do it in the simplest method simple form so i'll put the uh, put i will reduce this to the second order then we will simplify okay now let us uh, start with first element cofactor of cofactor of minus 2 so this can be denote written as just delete the row and column containing this what is left over is first convert to second order 1 to 2 minus 1 now simplify this 1 ones are 1 minus minus 2 twos of 4 this is equal to minus 5 similarly cofactor cofactor of second element is 2 what is the sign it is minus negative sign this row and column is deleted 4 2 3 4 2 3 1 so this is minus 4 1 of 4 minus 3 2 is 6 minus of minus 10 this is equal to plus 10 similarly cofactor of plus 10 similarly cofactor cofactor of next element 1 is equal to delete this row and column containing 1 what is left over 4 1 3 2 4 1 3 2 three, simplify this 4 2 is 8 minus 3 1 is 3 8 minus 3 is equal to 5 so i will write the cofactor matrix here so therefore cofactor matrix c is equal to what is the first row minus 5 10 minus 5 10 and plus 5 okay see here the cofactor cofactor of first element minus 2 delete this row and column containing this what is left 1 2 2 minus 1 1 2 2 minus 1 minus 1 minus 4 minus 5 first element similarly cofactor of second element is 2 the sign is minus delete the row and column containing this 4 2 3 minus 1 4 2 3 minus 1 minus of 4 ones of 4 minus 3 2 is 6 minus 4 minus 6 is minus 10 minus of minus is plus 10 that is plus 10 similarly cofactor of 1 delete the row and column containing 1 what is left over 4 1 3 2 4 1 3 2 4, the sign is positive 4 2 is 8 minus 3 that is equal to 5 for first row the cofactors for the first row similarly come to the second row now cofactor of second first element of second row 4 what is the sign it is minus 
delete the row and column containing forcer. This row and column is gone. What is left over is 2, 1, 2, minus 1. 2, 1, 2, minus 1. Minus out, 2, 1s are 2, minus 2. So, minus of minus 4, it is equal to plus 4. Similarly, cofactor of CF, cofactor of 1. So, this is equal to the sign is positive. Delete this row and column containing 1. Minus 1, 2. Sorry, minus 2, 1, 3, minus 1. So, this is equal to 2 1s are 2, minus 3 1s are 3, that is equal to minus 1. Right. Next, cofactor of next element, it is 2. What is the sign? Minus, delete the row and column containing this is gone. Minus 2, 2, 3, 2. Minus 2, 2, 3 and 2. This is equal to minus. 2, 2s are 4, minus 3, 2s are 6. Minus of minus 10, this is equal to plus 10. So, the cofactor for the second column are, these are the cofactors, 4, minus 1 and plus 2, right. Now, come to the second last, last cofactor of cofactor of 3. Cofactor of 3 is equal to just write down like this. This row and column is gone. So, what is left? 2, 1, 1, 2. 2, 1, 1, 2, this is equal to 2, 2 is a 4 minus 1 is 3, it is positive. Again, cofactor of 2 is equal to, the sign is negative, this row and column is gone. So, what is left? Minus 2, 1, 4, 2, minus 2, 1, 4 and 2, minus of minus 4, minus 4, this is minus of minus 8 is equal to plus 8 and last element cofactor of minus 1 is equal to, so this row and column is gone, minus 2, 2, 4, 1, minus 2, 2, 4, 1, so minus 2, minus 8, that is equal to minus 10. So, I will write the cofactors of last row, 3, 8 and minus 10. So, therefore, the cofactor matrix is obtained by minus 5, 10, 5, 4, minus 1, 10, 3, 8 and minus 8. If you transpose this, therefore, C dash is nothing but the adjoint of A. The adjoint of A is minus 5, 10, 5, 4, minus 1, 10, 3, 8 and minus 10. This is the adjoint. This is how we are going to find the adjoint of a square matrix of order 3 rows and 3 columns. Once if you know how to find the adjoint, then you can easily solve the problems in matrix method, that is by knowing the inverse. So, once if you know the cofactors, you will get the adjoint. If you know the adjoint, then you will get A inverse. If you know A inverse, then you can easily solve simultaneous equations. So, definitely you will get one six marks question from this particular part, that is to find the uh, solution using matrix method that is by finding A inverse that is regarding the adjoint. So, this is how we are going to find the adjoint of a 3 rows and 3 column. So, let me take one more problem uh, to find the adjoint, but I will reduce the steps here. Let us take this problem. Find the adjoint of A is equal to A is equal to 1, 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 2 and 4. This is the matrix. Now, let us write down the determinant of A, determinant of this is 1, 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 2 and 4. The signs are plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus and plus. Diagonals are positive, remaining are all negative signs. Now, let us start with the cofactors. Cofactor, cofactor of 1. So, this is equal to straight away delete the row and column containing this. What is left is 1, 2, 2, 4, 1, 4 is a 4, minus 2, 2 is a 4, 4 minus 4 is 0. Similarly, cofactor of next element 2 is equal to the sign is minus. So, this row and column is gone. So, what is left 0 into 4 is 0, minus 6. So, that is minus of minus it is plus 6. Next, cofactor of next element minus 1. This is equal to delete this row and column. 0 into 2 is 0 minus 3. 0 minus 3 is equal to minus 3. This is the cofactor for first row. That is here, cofactor of 1 is delete this row and column. 1 4s are 4 minus 2 2s are 4 0. 
cofactor of 2 is negative, it is minus, this row and column is gone, 0 into 4 is 0, minus 6 is, minus of minus it is plus 6, cofactor of minus 1 it is positive, this is gone, 0 into 2 is 0, minus 3 is minus 3. Similarly, come to the second part, second column, cofactor of second row, 0, it is minus, so this row and column is gone, 2 fours are 8, minus into minus plus, 2 ones are 2, so that is minus 10, cofactor of next element 1, so this row and column is gone, 1 fours are 4 plus 3, 4 plus 3 that is equal to 7, similarly cofactor of 2, it is minus, this row and column is gone, 1 twos are 2, min 1 twos are 2, minus 3 twos are 6, so this is 2 minus 6 is minus 4, minus into minus plus 4. And coming to the last row, cofactor of 3 is equal to, this row and column is gone, 2 to the 4 plus 1, 4 plus 1, this is equal to 5. Similarly, cofactor of 2 is equal to minus, this row and column is deleted, 1 to the 2 minus 0, that is equal to minus 2. And the cofactor of last element 4, is equal to this row column is gone 1 1 is a 1 minus 0 that is equal to 1. Now therefore the cofactor matrix C is equal to write down the cofactor elements in the first row 0, 6 and minus 3, second row minus 10, 7 and 4, third row 5 minus 2 and 1. So therefore C dash is nothing but the adjoint of A, the transpose, you transpose this 0, 6, minus 3 or minus 10, 7, 4 and 5, minus 2, 1, this is the adjoint, this is the adjoint for the given matrix A is equal to 1, 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and 3, 2, 4. So here if you want, instead of writing this cofactor, straight away you can write the adjoint like this, adjoint of A is equal to, so instead of writing this as first row, consider this as the first column, 0, 6 and minus 3, these 3 as the second row, that is second column, minus 10, second row as second column, minus 10, 7 and 4 and these 3 as the third column, that is 5 minus 2, 1, 5 minus 2 and 1, see the difference. That same, 0, minus 10, 5, 6, 7, minus 2, minus 3, 4 and 2. So if you want cofactor matrix, write on the cofactors and transpose. If you want ad directly adjoint, put it in the form of a column, first column, second column and third column. This is first column, second column and third column will give the adjoint. If you put this in the form of a row, first row, second row, third row, then you will get the cofactor. So that is the difference. So that is regarding how to find the um, cofactors and the adjoint of a 2 rows 2 column and 3 rows 3 column. So based on this we are going to solve the problems and also we will find the inverse, based on this adjoint we are going to find the inverse that we will discuss in the next class. So that is uh, regarding uh, today's session, the next session we are going to discuss uh, regarding the inverse and uh, singular and non-singular matrices, thank you very much.